was at university, I was studying uh, international business and I was also, um, in my spare time, I was a, a DJ and um, I was very kind of interested in what was going on in the world in terms of, I didn't quite believe we were being told the truth by the media. So I was quite interested in, um, not conspiracy theories, but just alternative views as what what was going on. Particularly after September the 11th, I was very fascinated in in uh, what actually happened and uh, and the government's and the media's response to that. So I suppose that kind of started me asking questions about um, you know the truth, what's going on, and what is the truth. Well, I'd met a Muslim and um, they passed me on some leaflets about Islam. Reading them, it really left me with um, kind of no choice, really. It was, you know, like I couldn't deny it, that I believed it. And um, so one night, one Saturday night, um, I basically had a conversation about um, death. And um, I always kind of had this feeling for some reason that I was going to die quite young. So I thought, well, I better become Muslim before I die. Um, so I just took Shahada and um, at that point I still didn't really know much about Islam um, except that there was five pillars and that I knew that I believed in, in uh, one God and that Muhammad was the messenger of God so I, I believed that so I took Shahada. And, well, it was probably quite a few months afterwards I, I'd um, lost touch with um, the Muslim that I'd init initially met um, so at that point I didn't actually know any Muslims and it was just um, just kind of me on my own doing what you know what I thought was Islam and um, and then I was just lucky to meet um, some Muslims just randomly at the job I was working at um, they came to the shop and I um, just started to hang out with them and they became good friends for the next few years and they were also um, new Muslims as well. So I was amazed because I didn't know that there was any uh, other people in based Islam so it was it was just a real blessing and um, so obviously spending time with them I learned a lot more about Islam. Well, I remember one day with my my mum saying to me oh you know would you like a ham sandwich and uh, and I was like oh uh, well I'm not really eating ham at the moment which was like oh why is that and I was like oh since I became Muslim <coughs> and it was like was, what, what was that and uh, you know um, since I became Muslim. And she was like, you're not a Muslim. And I was, I just said, well, I believe in, in one God and I believe Muhammad is the messenger of God. So I, I have to, I, therefore I am a Muslim. So she was just like a bit confused, like, oh. Um, but I, I had it very easy compared to a lot of people whose family and friends, you know, disown them. I had it very easy. My parents were very liberal and laid back. And they've always been like that, always kind of let me do, you know, let me find my own way. So, yeah. Some Muslims might think that um, becoming Muslim is, is like the end goal, but really becoming Muslim is, is just the start. And, um, and when you pursue the path, you, um, everything changes in your life. But, and I think also it puts people off Islam because they realise that, that things are going to change. But really, you have nothing to be scared about because Islam means submission to God. So, you know, you, how could, you know, Allah could bring you into Islam and then make it difficult for you, you know, it doesn't really make sense. So anyone who encounters Islam, they have to be true to themselves and and they will kind of feel inside, they'll acknowledge that they need to return to their Lord and submit to him. And um, so it's anyone really who's thinking about Islam, then I would say follow your heart, be sincere and um, as long as you do that, then you have nothing to worry about. It will guide you to Islam. Allah, Allah.